folks, Jason Hoppy here to walk you through how to create a kind of like a, let's call it a vortex in the middle of space. You know where you see that ring where it glows and you're going to take your spaceship right through it. I'm going to show you how to create that kind of swirling effect, but also that effect like you're going to jump to hyperspeed and go through it. So I'm going to require a new layer and I'm going to create my ring by using my elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to go into the edit menu and I'm going to add a stroke to this and I'm going to pick a color that's going to be bright and vivid in the middle of space and add a stroke to that and then do command or control D for deselect. I'm going to go to my layer here that I just created, do a command or control J to duplicate this. I'm going to go into the filter menu and I'm going to do a Gaussian blur on this of about 20 pixels. And I'm going to, once I blur this, let me name this the blur here so we've got that. I'm going to do a command or control J to kind of get that glowing effect on there a few times. Now, I'm going to go back at a new layer. I'm going to grab my brush. And the brush that I'd like to use here is going to be my airbrush with a soft, low density, and grainy. Now, this is uh, the newest version of Photoshop, so they've added all these different brushes in here. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for something that's going to be grainy and texture-wise that's got lots of spots. So this one seems to work really good. Now, the one thing with this is that it can only go up to 300 pixels. That's the maximum size right here. Okay. So on this layer with my brush, I'm going to grab a bright color here. And I'm just going to kind of paint around this ring like so. Okay, doesn't need to be exact here. And I'm just going to paint around to get some density here. It doesn't matter if it's going to be a little bit chunky. There we go. So there's the ring right there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert this to a smart object so I can apply a filter to this. And the filter that I want to, just to apply is going to be my blur filter. I'm going to do a radial blur and I want to do a spin. Now make sure that the center of this is in the center of your vortex so that it spins from the center. And when you're doing a spin, you don't need to have a lot of movement. A little bit of spin goes a long way. So if I click OK, this is going to kind of blur this whole thing. Now because this is a smart filter, you can always go back to your layers panel, double click on that blur, and you can set that amount down to change that amount of blur. I'm going to repeat this. With on, an, on a new layer here. I'm going to grab a slightly different color here and I'm going to go on my new layer and I'm also going to apply this as well. And you don't have to stay within the circle. You know this is the middle of space here so the more you put in here the more blur you're going to get. Right click on this layer, convert that to a smart object, and I'm going to copy my radial blur over to my new little purple ring. I'm not going to go through the whole process of going under filter blur again. So I'm going to go to my radial blur and I'm going to option or alt click and drag that radial blur up there. Now when I copy that, this little um, flippy is hidden so you don't see that I've copied it over, but you do get that blur. Again, double click on that radial blur if you'd like to adjust this down or up to change that effect. And you can do this as a spiral um, going in or out as well. I'm going to create one more layer here. And I'm going to pick a different color, kind of get some interesting texture going on here. And in this layer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some right here in the middle like that. And then I'm going to use my command or control T for transform. And I'm going to make this all bigger. And I know that it's getting blurry, which is just fine. That's not a problem here. I am going to convert this to a smart object after I've scaled it. Okay, so it's just going to give us some more grain. And I'm going to option or alt click and drag that radial blur there if I want to create this kind of like effect of this coming in. Let me select the right layer here and I can come back the opacity to kind of create that look of this coming through. And I can make this any size that I want and place this behind other ones too if I'd like to create that look and feel of kind of like that interstellar space kind of coming around and moving. Now, get that back a little bit more and that opacity too. There we go. And if you want to keep that space open, you can always add a mask to this area. And then grab a large brush, a 
large soft brush here and go in and just kind of add a mask if you just want to create that kind of glow coming out from the edge. Whatever you want to try, you can uh, certainly do. Now, if I'd like to now have this coming toward me so that I feel like I'm moving through space, I'm going to go back up to the top layer, create a new layer, and I'm going to grab my brush. Again, I'm going to do my airbrush here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint with my airbrush like this with whatever color I choose. And I'm going to create this cool airbrush effect. I'm going to convert this to a smart object. I'm going to go back to the filter menu, blur, and I'm going to do a radial blur again. However, this time I'm going to do the zoom. And the zoom is going to allow me to create those lines like you're jumping to light speed here. So I do the zoom effect and I click OK. And this is going to give me this really cool zoom look. And if we don't do it enough, not a problem. You can always do that effect more. Go to your radial blur and you can go all the way up to 100 and create this amazing zoom effect. So now we can have this thing coming right out at us zooming through space and again if you want to create any type i'm going to turn this other one off here so we can kind of see that look and feel move these layers around a bit so that these are going to be behind my other layers here so this kind of comes out and we can create this entire vortices of you going through space so give it a shot with the rings but this could be kind of cool if you want this vortex going through space i'm going to turn off the original ring and you can see what we've got here but I can also take that original ring and I can cut back the opacity of that too. Or if I'd like to blur that ring or kind of do a couple rings to offset that, I could definitely do that as well. So kind of a cool effect. Um, sky's the limit. You can go through outer space, but this is one cool way to give this kind of blur effect, both from a radial, and so it's going um, kind of zooming around and twirling as well. Um, a lot of fun.